I take a potassium supplement in the morning. This is 730 mg per serving. Sometimes I take two. So that's around um, approximately 1500. You need around 4700 mgs of potassium per day just for your bodily functions. And uh, most people don't get that. And when you're doing low carb, like you don't eat potatoes or yams or um, plantains or bananas, which are inherently high in potassium, you need to supplement it. Otherwise, you're just going to feel like shit. So I take this. I don't take these on the days where I do hit uh, my potassium supplements. Like if I drink a lot of spinach juice, green juice, broccoli, radish, all the cruciferous vegetables which are high in potassium. Uh, but, you know, without any kind of potatoes or bananas, it's difficult to reach um, around that 4,700 mg of potassium. Now, currently, I'm doing just two meals per day and I'm in the process of, uh, you know, training my body uh, to feel hungry at certain times of the day. The, horm the hormone that controls hunger is ghrelin. And what a lot of people don't know about ghrelin is that ghrelin is a trainable hormone, which means you can basically uh, train your body to secrete ghrelin at certain times. So if I'm doing two meals per day, after a certain period of practicing this, my body will release ghrelin only at lunch and dinner rather than breakfast. So that is what I am in the process of doing right now training my body to feel hungry at certain times and not to secrete ghrelin in the morning. So guys, this is my first meal of the day and this is about four eggs that I have scrambled with onions and chilies in butter, lots of butter. And this is some jackfruit that I cooked up um, for my husband's lunch. But I'm having it as a side, drizzled with a little bit of ketchup. And this is also high in calories because this is ghee roast jackfruit. You know how you make that ghee roast mutton and ghee roast chicken? It's the same thing but with jackfruit and the same spices. So this is around 600 calories, which I know is a lot. But this is my first meal of the day and I'm doing only two meals. So it makes sense. For dinner, I'm going to have a protein shake and it looks gross right now because I haven't mixed it yet. So I've got bananas and they look black because they were frozen for a month or so. Uh, so I've got 100 grams of bananas and then this is fresh cream. That is about 100 grams of fresh cream. One scoop of Belgian chocolate protein powder and I have got around 20 grams of peanut butter. Now, this is uh, no added salt and sugar, which is very important because I don't want to add excess sugar to anything, especially refined sugar. So I always get peanut butter that has got no sugar and salt too, because if you're going to make a smoothie, that salt is just going to make it way too salty. So this is around 650 calories. Uh, if you make it with milk or water, it's going to be lower, but I need to eat calories. I mean, if you do two meals per day, you have to get in your calories. So I also had coffee in the evening with milk and I then I had that bone broth, but bone broth is really just around 10 calories per serving. So technically that is, I noticed it was very distracting because of my glasses the reflection was you could see the reflection of the phone on my glasses and it was very distracting so for my entire day i would say because i had that coffee with full cream milk that was around 200 calories i would say i'm on 1400 to 1500 calories for today which is actually good because these days i've got the habit of going completely over my calories especially with refined carbs so i'm happy that today i made today i made it so i'll see you in my next video i don't know when that's going to be but i'll definitely see you in my next video